In this chapter, we will cover how to change a material, and we will continue from the Update Wall screen. The bond beam is now showing in your wall, but it just does not stand out in the graphic. Let us change the material color and show the grout. Left click on the material icon at the top of the screen. Right click on the bond beam material and select change. This opens up update project material. In the lower right corner, you will see a checkbox for inherent color, which is gray. Uncheck the box and the edit color wheel becomes available. Left click on edit color and click on a color that will stand out in the wall. Then click on OK. You will now see your selected color on the Update Project Material screen. The lower right corner of the screen also has your options for the graphics on the bonding. Click on the down arrow next to bonding and you will see options for default, stack, scored, running, etc. We will leave it on default for now. Click on the side bonding down arrow and select Bond Beam. Now, click on OK to return to Project Materials and then click on the Close button. You are now back on Update Wall. Right click on the camera icon to refresh the image and your Bond Beam should be the newly selected color with the grout showing in the side bonding. The next item we are going to look at is the mod brick soldier that was placed in the wall. These soldiers may be a different color in the real world and you would want them to stand out more in your 3D graphic. We are also going to make these soldiers swimmers which are definitely more difficult and time consuming to lay in the field. Left click on the materials icon and then double click on the mod brick soldier. Now, change the color to white by unchecking Inherit Color and then clicking on the color wheel. Select white and click on OK. Next, click on the down arrow next to the bonding field and change the default setting, which is running bond, to stack bond. The soldier bonding will now be displayed correctly in the graphic. Since the brick color has been changed, I am going to have you change the mortar color that is going to be used with this brick soldier. Locate the Override Mortar field on the lower left portion of this screen. Click on the down arrow to the right of this field and you will be brought to the Project Mortar screen. Highlight the mortar with the ID M, the White Portland Lime Silica Sand. Once highlighted, right-click on it and select Change from the drop-down window. You should now be on the Update Project Mortar screen. Click on the Edit Color button on the right and select the color white and then click on the OK button. Take a moment to glance at this screen. This is where you can change the pricing and material quantities for your mortar. Click on the OK button. You are back on the Project Mortar screen and you will now see that the mortar color has changed to white. Double click on the M mortar, the mortar you just changed, and you will return to the Update Project Material screen. The white mortar is now attached to the white brick soldier and will be calculated any time you use this soldier. Now that you have the color changed, let us take a look at the lay rate and slow it down. Locate the lay rate field in the middle of the screen. The field should currently say 300. Change this to 200 by highlighting the field and typing in 200. This field is now stating that 200 pieces per man per day of this mod brick soldier can be laid. 
This section will also contain the fields to change the material price and waste factor. I recommend that you utilize the F1 key and explore this screen a little bit with the help file. Now, click on the OK button and you will return to the project materials screen. The mod brick soldier will be highlighted and will show the change in brick color, mortar color, and lay rate. Left click on the close button and return to update wall. And right click on the camera icon to refresh the graphic. For the final touch of this odd course, you are going to project the soldier by one inch. Highlight the MS odd course in the outside odd course column on the left side of the screen. Once highlighted in blue, hold down the control key on your keyboard and tap the left arrow key twice. This will project the soldier out one inch. Just for fun, we will project the limestone banding out an inch as well. Highlight the limestone odd course in the outside odd course column on the left side of the screen. Once highlighted in blue, hold down the control key on your keyboard and tap the left arrow key twice. It is time to see how your changes look in the wall you have already placed. Left click on the place wall button in the upper right corner. You are now back on the place wall screen. The bombing, soldier course, and limestone banding should all be visible in your graphic now. Before we move on to the next part of the walkthrough, take some time to run reports and become familiar with the different options. Utilize the F1 help screen for anything you had questions on. You may want to start a new project and do some wall takeoffs on your own while some of the screens are fresh in your mind. As always, feel free to call 1-800-429-9002 if you have any questions or need some help. The next chapter in the walkthrough will continue with this project from the Place Wall screen, which is the screen you are currently on. The next chapter will focus on creating and placing openings.